Hey Leute, willkommen zurück zu Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Und der Grund, warum dieses Spiel wahrscheinlich V3 heißt, ist, damit es keine Verwechslung mit Danganronpa 3 gibt, dem Anime. Ja, es ist irgendwie weird, aber naja. See, it's just like I said. What? Just like you said. Sometimes you gotta just... You gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. Yeah. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Thanks to me, we defeated Monokuma, right? I still don't know how to get out of here, but the number of one threat is gone now. Uh, um, kind of, to be honest, what you did was really dangerous. Okay. Well, I was a little nervous, just a little. <laughs> but now we know the universe is watching, that Barry got the cosmic justice he deserved. The universe is always on the side of those who push the limit, limits and never give up. I, see. I guess. Anyway, Monokuma's gone now, thanks to me. All we gotta do is escape. Ja, es gibt sechs Kapitel. Ich glaube nicht, dass er tot ist. Ähm, um, naja. Außer er ist wirklich tot und der Rest ist mit diesen scheiß Cups. Wenn ja, habe ich schon keine Lust mehr auf das Spiel. Ich, ha ich mag diese Cups gar nicht. Die sind irgendwie sehr nervig. Tanker, what are you doing? I was hoping I could learn more about magic from Himiko. I definitely want to incorporate magic into Neo Aikido. Please tell me, Himiko, what sort of training do you usually do? I told you I get tired talking about it. I'll protect you. Then I'll massage your back so you won't get tired. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't mind if you rested your head on my lap either. Stop it, that's weird. Hey you guys, save me from this conversation. What's wrong? What's the matter Himiko, we're not done talking yet are we? Hey there, you two. Something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Hey. Rantaro. You said there's someone behind all this, right? That Monokuma's just a puppet. It's true. I did say that, but you know what? It's just a hunch. How should I, put it? I sure wouldn't complain if that's how it all turned out, though. <laughs> And away he goes. Like before, the empty library was filled with the scent of old, musty books. Uh, um. Okay, before I say anything else, I want you to come promise you, me you'll keep this a secret. Yeah. Okay, got it. Shuichi looked relieved and smiled. Like a great detective, he began to explain in exact, in exacting detail. Remember. This library has books scattered everywhere, even books lying on top of the bookcases. But take a look at this bookcase. It's the only one in the library with no books on top. Uh, that one, huh? You're right. Hmm. Also, you can see that you can see that the floor in front of the bookcase has noticeable markings. Mm -hmm. You're right. What is this? I'm... I noticed the markings the first time I came here with you. This morning I came back to investigate. That's when I found this. He then walked over to the bookcase, placed his hand between the gap. Oh god. And move the bookcase. Oh, it moved. It swings open. Look, there's a door behind it. A door? And the Monokuma too. The pattern on the hidden door is black and white. Just like Monokuma. Do you think this door is connected to Monokuma somehow? I think it might, but I don't know anything for sure. This door has a card reader lock, so I can't open it. You can't? Is that alright? But the very fact this door is here makes it consider a certain possibility. There is a chance that one of us here is cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? Cooperating with Monokuma? Uh, Wait a minute, what do you mean by that? Hey. It's only a hypothesis, hypothesis right now, but consider this. Why would there be a hidden door here? 
if it were solely for Monokuma's use, he wouldn't need to hide it. He could just have the Monocups or the Excels, ex Excels protect it and keep it in plain sight. Mm. However, I can think of no of one reason that the door would be hidden, for one of us to sneak in and use it without anyone else noticing. Maybe, but I can't believe in s believe someone in our group could be working with Monokuma. I can't believe it either. That's why, to confirm my suspicious suspicions, I decided to set a little trap on this card reader. I sprinkled some dust inside the card reader so that I could tell if it was used. Of course, I was careful to make sure the dust wouldn't come loose ex accidentally. And I don't think the person swiping their card would notice or care about a little dust. So if we see the dust on the floor, it means one of us used this door, right? Well, as I mentioned before, this is just a hypothesis. I have no evidence yet. But if it is true, then even if Monokuma is gone, this isn't going to end Kaede. Anyway, that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I don't expect you to believe me. I'm I just wanted to tell you, no matter what. Yeah. Then well, let's head back. We shouldn't stay here too long. After putting the moving bookcase back into place, we cautiously left the library. Is that all right? Kaida, please don't tell anyone what I showed you. I don't want to cause panic. Yeah. I understand. Having made a promise, we return to our own rooms. Hab ja night time? It's on a short attack. Puh. Okay, cool announcement. Just one? The other Monocups cups aren't here to bury Monokuma? Well, anyway, what Suichi told me earlier is really disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma? It's just so hard to believe. But Suichi trusts me, that's why he told me, right? Then maybe I should believe it. Wow, we're all. Already out of material, like closing time at the sushi, sushi restaurant. When a series lasts for several seasons, eventually it'll run out of material. My memory has been awfully lately. I wonder if it's cause of how long the series has been going. Wait, what's these Nari on again? What material have we shown so far? Jeez, I don't remember. Maybe it's cause they've released so many at this point. Oh well. Anyway, we need new material for the Monokuma Theater. Please send your manuscripts along with a thousand dollar application fee. If your entry is selected, you will receive a ten hundred dollar gift card. What a generous prize! Don't miss this opportunity. Send your applications today. Yeah, nee, that's my good sign. Okay. That's why he's shy. It's already morning. I didn't sleep well last night. Yesterday's conversation is still on my mind. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Are they already gathered at the dining hall? I guess I'll go for now. Can I just go and teleport here, or what? Is that how it goes? Despite all my worrying, everyone in the dining hall was in a good mood. Man, for a moment I had no idea what was gonna happen. I'm glad it turned out like this. That's right. Yeah, seriously. I slept well last night. Also, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. That's amazing. You did all that with? You did all that with magic? You're so amazing, Himiko. Thanks. Be to Atua. Praise be to Atua. Sure, surely he helped you in his own mysterious, miraculous way. This Atua seems to act in the, act in secret a lot. 
to cast Atua Smiles of Danger. But when someone coming to get us... 100%. Whoever does, I assume they will come today. There's no need to worry. Why the long face? No, no. It's nothing. I figure no one would l listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? What do you mean? Never mind. Really, it's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. Mm. But is this really how this ends? Without thinking, I blurted that out loud and now everyone was staring at me. Um. I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it'll end like this. I wonder, do you wish the killing game would have continued? That's not true. No, not at all. Nothing, then don't ruin our happy moment, you fucking skank. Hey, Kaida, I don't know what you're so worried about. When Akuma's dead, there's no way the killing game can continue, you know? It's my turn, Kuma. What? Some Teufel? And that's my cue to appear, Kuma. Huh? What? <laughs> Monokuma? He's still alive? It's my turn, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Are you guys blind or something, Kuma? I ain't Monokuma, Kuma. After dying in a tragic car accident, I've been reborn as a yokai. Call me Yibakuma Kuma. Yibakuma? From now on, I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Aca Academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. Did I slip up? No, duh, you fucking fraud. Go find another car to run, o run you over, and this time stay dead. She's such a low-level cosplay, I can't bear to look. From an anthropological point of view. I have an important question. Haven't you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yokai are mytho mythological creatures, first created back when human humanity lived closely with nature. Back then, they were the embodiment of unexplainable natural phenomena. Man, you guys are bus kills. I was all set for adventure before you started yelling at me. That's why I hate teenagers. I'd have a cash for days if I was if I was dealing with the under ten crowd. Chase is loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? Oh. Wait, what? Our father, who we thought was dead, is actually alive? Hey. No way. Papa Kuma's too hip and modern to resort to the deafest cheap trope. I bet it. Yeah. No, that bit's already over. It ain't over yet. I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. They should have told us you were still alive. We've been ma making stew with your body. <laughs> Wait, if Papa Kuma's standing here, then whose body is in the stew pot? Uh, which Papa Kuma's real one? No, they are both real. But Father, you said there's only one of each of us. That we're unique, like snowflakes. Well, yeah, there's only one of each of you guys, but I've got loads of spares. <laughs> Why do you get to have spares and we don't? Of course you don't You don't get to have spares. You really think anyone in this day and age would tolerate the deafest cheap trope? What does that mean? Got it. But now we know. This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pop. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pops as you want. When I see you guys, I just get too excited until I can't take it anymore. You guys are so cute, gosh, I just want to see what your par parents look like. Wait, I'm your parents. Uh, sorry, I can't react to this. I'm in too much shock. Does this mean the killing game is going to continue? Continue? The killing game is going to continue? That's not the problem, donkey face. What do you mean the killing game is gonna continue? <laughs> I mean that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. You gotta be kidding me! No, it's definitely not okay. Is that right? That's how it's going to be if you want to end this. I see. You have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. 
I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it to be built within the academy. I do not mind. Either way, I assumed this would happen. This development was not surprising. Is that so? And did you also assume this next exciting development? Jesus. Why did you guys even come to this school if you're not gonna do the killing game? Shut up! You're the one that forces to come here. Um... Quick question, Father. What do you mean by countless monokumas? I thought we were up. We were up once time ran out. Let's do this! Damn right. Let the ex exiles do their thing this time. Oh, no. But I'd rather not go through that a again. I'd feel bad if you guys tried yourself. tired yourselves out. Yeah, but. But if we let the Excels get popular, we could have a real cash cow on our hands, you know? The merchandising rights alone would make us richer than Sultans. Ah, Sultans, huh? Man. Very tempting, but... I won't let you kids ruin your futures. You need to have your own kids and ru run ruin their futures. Daddy. You love us so much? Oh, That's enough. Oh. You're still here? Of course, we never left. Why? Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put us through? Hmm? I see. Well, if you're suffering, you all better hurry up and start the killing game. <laughs> then you can say bye bye to the suffering. You, you? bastard. To tell you the truth. Don't you realize that working together is pointless, so just knock it off for me. You know what you gotta do, don't you? <laughs> you're surrounded by strangers, neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about them. Well. Plus, you got the first blood perk. That means the first kill is free. But the killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Yeah. And if they don't pl play, then they're dead anyway. And that's way more gory. I see. If it's gracious, over-the-top gore, I might be able to stomach that. Forget the killing game, then... I'd be better for it'd be better for you all to just die together. Shut up! And get the fuck back. <laughs> well, what you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. You can all die working together, or you can survive on your own. It's your call. <laughs> Man, father isn't is in the zone. I was getting irritated till he said all that. Let's toss back some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return. Yo, one of them, go get some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me in the name of killing. So long, After Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. Uh, what are we going to do? Nighttime in two days. We'll, we'll be, we'll be here in an instant. There's got to be something we can do. I, I can't die. The world needs my genius. I don't, like I don't wanna. I don't wanna die yet. Die? Everyone's going to die? Is dying the only choice? You don't need to worry. Atua will welcome you with open arms. Mm. That's after we die, right? Jeez. We can't panic about something like this. I'll do something about it. Well, then. Did you have a course of action in mind? Shut up! I'm gonna start thinking of one right now. I don't understand. Figures, I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. Can we gotta fight back then. Um, yeah, if we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance of winning. No. What kind of Aikido moves even involve sneak attacks? Come, everyone. Gonta use body. Keep everyone safe. Not cool. 
We're going to go against those machines barehanded. Isn't that too reckless? But we have to do it. If we don't, we'll die. Wait, we still have plenty of time to calculate all possible options. We we have no time to be inde indecisive. We are being urged to make a decision. To die fighting or die from the time limit. Why do both choices involve us dying? How? No way. Are we really gonna die? I don't wanna die yet. Shit. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna make it no matter what. Uh, no matter what? That's wrong. Wait, you can't do that though. Even if you make a mistake, you can't. Oh. Then you'll accept the blame. Huh? Because... Will you accept the blame if I die? I have people who will be sad if I die, you know. Uh. Well... <laughs> I'm lying, no one will be sad if I die. But I don't know if the same can be said for everyone so else. Anyway, I'm gonna take off now. Take off? Where are you going, Kokichi? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and just think it think things over alone. The fuck's going on? Hello in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come kill you? Uh, Mio. Not that I'd try to claim that perk for myself. I want a classy to kill someone. <gasps> Talking to you idiots is exhausting. I'm gonna go to my room and rest. Got it? Mio, you better not do anything shady, okay? There's no need to worry, is there? No one is going to kill anyone, right? Mm -hmm. If someone is going to kill, they should just go for the robot. No way! That's even worse! Mm -hmm. So everyone so everyone feels this feels that killing is wrong. Why is that? Huh? What? How mysterious. Of course I know it's and of course I know it'd be it to be against the law. The laws are simply rules people decide upon. This is a space removed from those rules. Therefore we've known we have no need to follow them. That's Don't say stupid shit like that. Even kids know killing is bad, it's common sense. However. Even if it is to survive. We are as guinea pigs upon a lap table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depth of its sins. So you have no need to fear me. Uh. Kyo! Mollys and the soft sciences are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think he'll do anything. Jeez. He's not wrong, though. If you want to stay alive, then you run grumbling, not... Grumb Rumbling's not gonna change any anything. Well, as things are, we're not all going to escape together. We're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? Stop it! Hold on, everyone. We haven't decided on our plan yet. Oh, right already. You can't decide on your on huh? that on your own. You don't know. We have asked speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? Then. So. Just come up with a plan for yourself. Uh, wait, Maki, wait! Okay. I'm just gonna pray to Atua. Seems like... Yeah, can I just go and think by myself for a little? It's a shame. I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. Oh, that special pillowcase I bought. What should I do? But wait, you guys! You guys, you can't listen to Monokuma! <laughs> everyone, what's what wrong? Why well, everyone scatter? <laughs> Fine, and all of you just do whatever you want. This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else? Is, so what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then That's a shame. can I ever trust myself? Huh? My tower, what's wrong? What's wrong? He says. How should I put this? I have a question. This might. Sound a little weird, but does the term "ultimate hunt" ring a bell for anyone? Ultimate hunt. Um, what is that? I've never heard of it. What's the matter? What about never it? Mind. Nothing. Forget huh? it. Excuse me. What do you mean, Rantaro? No. It's nothing really. I'm just a bit confused. That's all. Mm, actually, Everyone's a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talent. Sorry. So I guess I'm asking you to bear with me if I say things that don't make sense sometimes. Uh. Rantaro? Now looking back, Rantaro just waved his hand and left. 
Deanna couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Why won't any anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone, so why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. The one who's controlling him and planned this entire killing game, it's all their fault. Good luck, we sign one of the next part by the Badenga Romper V3, Killing Harmony on Shell.